15,000 industry representatives, around 600 exhibitors, makes ICAST 2016 the largest ICAST ever. The word on the expo hall floor was that the offerings at ICAST 2016 blew people out of the water. ICAST 2016, I like a lot of new companies coming from you know overseas like Europe, like for example like Weston and Biwa, uh, coming out with some really cool innovative products, really realistic looking baits, and I think that's going to be a good deal for the uh, U.S. consumer. In the two days that I've been here, I've not been able to cover everything that's here. It's just, it's overwhelming the amount of stuff that's here. Um, not only from one company, but there's multiple companies carrying similar products, slight variations in some of the products. Uh, but it's absolutely incredible. It's an opportunity everybody needs to try to uh, experience at least once. We've seen it all today. I've gotten so many contacts, so many people that I need to call, text, email next week so I can start setting stuff up and really change up our entire fishing department. A big fan of fishing stopped by the show, and he just happens to be the governor of Florida. Governor Rick Scott met with ASA board members to make a proclamation that July is Keep Florida Fishing Month. The governor told ICAST TV that Florida is fortunate to be the host to the largest sport fishing show in the world. 15,000 people, they get to come here and see what we're doing. And what happens after that, they do more fishing here, they move here, they build their companies here, and it creates more jobs for Florida families. The education at ICAST was top notch, with sessions from building a better business to fly fishing market and trends, sport fishing professionals now have the knowledge that they need to move their businesses forward. This session focused on reaching millennials in the fishing industry using social media and digital marketing. A main takeaway was to identify the types of content your target customers consume, whether they're 90 or 9, then work to sell your products through that type of content. The four biggest social medias to get started with are Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube because those are all um, a big, I guess, spiderweb effect into social media and into selling your product. Facebook, especially with the older generation, and Snapchat, Instagram, and YouTube with the younger generation, they all kind of add towards each other. And so you can post your videos and your content on all four social media platforms and reach every generation with basically one post. I mainly took away more about YouTube, which walking in, I mean, I use YouTube for music. Like that's that's what it was made for. That's what I used it for. I didn't realize how much of a market there was in it, especially for fishing and outdoors. If you're sad that iCast is coming to a close, as many of us are, here's how you can cheer up. Stop by the ASA booth and learn how to stay engaged all year long. Plus, you'll have some access to valuable resources. For everyone here at iCast TV, I'm Kimberly Bottom. Thank you so much for watching. For now, we'll leave you with a message from the ASA. Hi, I'm Kirk Emmons. I'm the incoming chair for the American Sportfish Association. I'm here at the 2016 ICAST show, and it's the biggest and best show ever. And we really look forward to seeing you next year.
It's the only knife you'll ever have to buy. Titan knives solve three common problems. They don't rust. Our solid titanium blade will hold up to years of saltwater exposure. They don't become dull. Our patented edge is self-sharpening. They don't slip in your hands. Our comfortable, non-slip handle is impervious to everything from fish guts to soap. Made in America, lifetime warranty, 90-day satisfaction guarantee, no questions asked. And we're giving you a 50% margin on our entire stock at the Titan Knives booth, booth number 2004. Stop by today. My name is Tyler Capella, and I was born to fish. I've caught fish all over the world. Fishing is my life. Equipment in fishing is of the utmost importance because basically if you have one weak link in the chain, that's it. You just blew your shot at a trophy fish. So it starts from the rods, reels, the boat, all the way down to the smallest parts. Everything has to be perfect to get that trophy. Traditional knowledge when you're going to buy a reel, just go to the reel counter, flip the spool, and make sure that it doesn't make a noise. But nowadays, the highest quality bearings from Boca Bearings are ceramic. And they make a little bit of a humming sound. And when I hear that, it is absolute music in my ears. Book of Bearings has added a whole new dimension to my game and has made me a much better angler. No matter where I fish all over the world, I'm thankful for my roots right here in Central Florida. And I'm here now with Scott Barrett with Nico Cassay Baits. And Scott, these baits are being called the next generation of soft baits for a couple reasons. First, virtually no environmental impact. How does that work? Well, first, most baits are made with harmful chemicals. And they're even being banned in some areas. Um, Nico baits are biodegradable. They're completely non-toxic. Um, they're actually scented and, and with, made with food grade uh, materials. They're super stretchy. The scent is built in. There's, there's no liquids, there's no sprays, it's all natural. There's no artificial ingredients in there for the scent. If you think the scent is getting weak, you just give it a good stretch and that, that recharges and activates this, the scent again. These baits use a very unique Japanese nanotechnology that enables the baits to completely biodegrade. There's not just disintegrating like a lot of other baits. Well, obviously, this is an industry built on a love for the outdoors. So to see a product that is working at being environmentally sustainable is great. Now, just because it's environmentally sustainable doesn't mean that it's not durable. Tell me about that. Well, that's right. These baits, they actually last many times longer than ordinary plastics. You'll get more fish per catch. Um, a lot of our baits go over 100 catches um, easily. Some go several hundreds of catches each. The great thing is our, our baits float, too, so that, that offers a lot of fishing options, uh, how to rig it and fish it. All right, well, we've heard it all. Now I want to see it in action. I know you have a demonstration for us, yeah. right? Here's one of our bass worms. Um, they're super soft. They, they float and jiggle with the, the slightest of movement. Because we use that super soft plastic, it, it's very easy to get uh, the movement that you want. Um, and, the, and they float as we set it down, you know, the tail pops up. You, you don't need any special jigs to, to stand it up. Um, any ordinary jig, any, any person can stand the baits up in the water. Wow, that is really realistic, Scott. Very impressive. Thank you so much for sharing Nico Baits with us. If you want to see Nico Baits for yourself and do a little run through just like Scott showed us here, make sure you come by booth 3283. That's 3283. Thanks for watching. Jumpstarter 44 is Wego's newest jump starter, designed to start gas engines up to 6.4 liters and diesel up to 3.2 liters. But it's more than just a jump starter. Fast charge your phones and tablets with our Detectomatic technology. Power your 12 volt accessories, or use the 500 lumen flashlight that can last up to 28 hours. Jumpstarter 44 is ruggedly built for surf and turf too, because nobody goes where we go. Visit us at booth number 2680. Hey guys, Dennis here with Tucket Footwear. We bring a great new fishing shoe to you called the Giller. The Giller is lightweight, drains fast, dries fast, and has great grip. Make sure you stop by booth 1101 and check us out.